What up? My name is Ryan Babel, and you're watching JLB Sports TV. Hey everybody, welcome to JLB Sports TV. I am Justin Block and today Liverpool beat Manchester United at Old Trafford 3-1 in um, what was probably Liverpool's biggest victory of the season. This firmly puts us in the title race um, talk if you haven't been talking about Liverpool's title contenders already, which is just not, <laughs> not, not smart. Uh, Liverpool are title contenders right now, officially stamping themselves with this emphatic victory over Manchester United, who continue to languish under David Moyes. Now getting into the lineups in our match preview, uh, Rotas, I think, correctly predicted his 11. The, uh, United did go with, indeed, a rather defensive setup um, where they were more than welcome to, you know, just sit back and really defend against Liverpool at home, which you never really want, really want to see from a home side, especially if you're Manchester United. Uh, Liverpool actually countered Manchester United's uh, newly imp implemented 4-2-3-1 with a little bit of a different approach than I thought they would go with. I thought Coutinho would be starting. Um, in that central midfield area, so Liverpool would really attack and go at them from all angles, but instead Brendan Rodgers decided to go with Joe Allen in midfield, which actually gave Liverpool some more possessive defensive qualities against that um, fearsome United front forward with Fellaini coming to try and overload the box, um, and that worked pretty well. I thought the addition of Joe Allen really helped Liverpool control the game um, and really kept tempo on their side. Early on, Liverpool were wanting to attack, really go forward, but also possess the ball and make sure that the United's crowd can never get into it. And Joe Allen, Steven Gerrard, and Jordan Henderson had a lot to do with that. Um, we see Liverpool not always win the midfield battle, which exposes them at the back four, but not today. Um, this midfield was rock solid and really went a long way to this 3-0 victory. Now, like I said, at first, United didn't really have much of the ball. Liverpool's movement was consistent, it was dynamic, it was from all angles, and it was, above all, quality. Um, what really led to the Suarez penalty was the switch in play out to Sturridge, and then Sturridge actually switched it back to Suarez um, against the run of play, had Rafael's head turn around, and that eventually led to the handball and the first penalty. Uh, Rafael really should have been sent off there. He had just picked up a yellow a couple minutes before. He made an intentional handball in the box. If that's not grounds for sending off and another yellow, I don't really know what is. He should have been sent off later in the game as well. Um, but let's not really talk about that because Liverpool did end up winning 3-0. Um, and that's just a minor footnote in the story. Of course, Steven Gerrard converted the penalty as you would expect, and Liverpool were on their way to flying. Um, after that, United actually did put on the pressure a little bit more. Um, there was some more urgency in the play, which had been static for most of the match. But United did actually find success down that right-hand side. And that's because uh, Liverpool simply weren't really doing their responsibilities on that side. Yes, I think um, John Flanagan was very solid on that side. I think he was a great player today. Uh, Joe Allen was, of course, picking up guys on that side as well. I'm talking about Liverpool's uh, defending the left flank or United attacking that right flank. Um, but really what happened was Raheem Sterling didn't do his responsibilities in the first half. Um, he didn't really pick up the oncoming midfielders that United were really overloading that side with, um, which you would, I guess, expect out of Raheem Sterling. This is his first time really playing in that number 10 center role. Liverpool did go with that 4-3-1-2, which means Sterling had to kind of slide over and pick up defensive um, options as he could. He didn't really do that as much, being Raheem Sterling, who wants to get forward. I don't really blame him for it, but it did put Liverpool under quite a bit of pressure at the end of the first half. Thankfully that didn't matter because just after halftime, Joe Allen was fouled in the box, Steven Jarre converted the second penalty, and from there it was home sailing, a nice relaxing 2-0 win. And United really tried to amp up the pressure on Liverpool as you would expect, but to me, I was fine with that. You know why? Because Liverpool are also the best counter-attacking team in England. So if Liverpool get ahead and you really want to go after Liverpool, they're going to kill you on the counter. And Liverpool on the counter had plenty of space and midfield in, in the final third on the break, really that last half hour, last 40 minutes of play, they just couldn't take advantage of it. Um, Suarez and Sturridge both made selfish, stupid decisions on the ball, not really correctly passing when they should have. I was a little bit disappointed that Suarez and Sturridge didn't make the most of their excellent off-ball movements by providing really good passing to each other, um, but all is for naught. Eventually, Luis Suarez did get on the scoreboard after, again, breaking on that counter-attack, finding that goal. So Liverpool, in that sense, did very well. Liverpool weren't exactly dominant all match, but I think they were effective and possessive, which is really all you can ask for considering you're going to Old Trafford, you're away from home, you haven't been a particularly good away side all season in a fixture like this, and you really can't complain with a 3-0 victory, now can you? And above all, for me, Liverpool kept a clean sheet away from home, which is a rarity. I think we've conceded 23 goals away from home this season, which is... Um, I think really in the top half of the Premier League. So Liverpool have not been good away from home 
um, and especially their defense has been pretty leaky away from home as well. Keeping that clean sheet is huge. Now the biggest damper, I guess, on Liverpool's title CV is the fact that the back four is so shaky, supposedly. But this back four completely shut down um, Rooney, Mata, and Robin Van Persie today. So really, how bad are they? But I think the solution to that was the fact that Joe Allen came in the mid midfield, and this midfield was really able to control the game and protect the back four. We've seen this season Liverpool go so attacking, so for forward thinking that the back four is left exposed because really Steven Gerrard is the only one back there to help them out. But when you add the likes of Jordan Henderson and Joe Allen also protecting Steven Gerrard along with that back four, um, I think Liverpool are going to be able to handle any sort of attack. So it's good for Brendan Rodgers to play this matchup ear by ear, matchup to matchup, whether he wants to go with Coutinho in the center of the park and really go at attacking sides, or does he want to really possess the game against sides with higher quality, which I guess you could say Manchester United are. I guess, right? Whatever. So my man of the match has to be Brendan Rodgers for setting up a perfect lineup with perfect tactics at the perfect time. Um, this entire side was uh, collectively brilliant today, so I really can't give it to one player in particular, but I'm going to give it to Brendan Rodgers because ultimately he's responsible for these players. Down of the match has to go with David Moyes. Um, he shit. He doesn't know what he's doing. Static play again from United. Um, another egg on their face. I think they lost their eighth match this season. And I don't think they've ever lost more than nine in a complete season. So David Moyes is on his way to setting all the kinds of wrong records for Manchester United, um, which as a Liverpool fan, we cannot be more pleased about. So that's it for today with JLB Sports TV. I am Justin Block. Give me your thoughts and comments down below on the match. How excited are you? Do you think that we can honestly win the title? Signing off this week, guys. Thanks. Oh, and as you can see, I'm on spring break. <laughs>